Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to All the Shiny um, Watercolor Supplies. And so I decided to splurge. This is outside of my monthly spending budget, and I shouldn't have, but I had this shiny new um, contact paper I put down on my art easel, so it's nice and clean, and I thought, you know, I needed a new video to go with that. So these were on sale for $15, and I've been told they're very, very nice supplies. Um, so let's get unpacking and see what we have here. A little letter opener. Great for opening packages. nice it's metal I expected plastic so apparently there's 52 colors I don't even know what to do all this with all these colors but beautiful I mean look at that set so it's a nice metal tin not that I needed more watercolors and look at that it comes with a micro pin a pencil a brush Let's, I can't even get these out of here and a sponge to wipe things off with Look at that beautiful brush and I, I like these that have that thing because you can also use this to um, like a credit card. Came with a paint pencil. I wonder if, I don't know. I'll try it see if maybe that's water based. Water resistant water based pigment liner. So it's a micro liner. That's so nice because this will make a nice travel palette if I actually ever go somewhere. <gasps> it came with paper. Oh goodness, it came with paper too. Look at that. Oh, those are some nice bookmarks for future reference. And it even came with a thing to swatch it on. So I guess let's get swatching. So beautiful. So we'll, we'll just leave that little map there and Oh, and it has a little plastic thing to cover it as well. Oh, this is so lovely. So I want to say that um, my last, my first primary watercolor that I started with was a Crayola set. And for a reason I can't say the word Crayola on social media because they just keep blocking my stuff. Um, so I wound up using honey to try to make the paints better and they mildewed really badly so I tonight am, am going back to Wally World and getting some Crayola supplies because I would like to start this book that I picked up last month and haven't started. I would like to start this book with my primary set and go through all the thing lessons with each paint set I have on different papers so we can see the difference in quality. And so if you're up for that, keep stay tuned to my videos in the future because that's where we're going with this. I had to think long and hard what we were doing on this channel because I have really no plan. I got this at Halloween, or my husband got this me at, for me at Halloween for like three bucks. It's a nice decanter for water. He gave it to me for Christmas. So that's lovely. I'd like to show you my whole setup, but obviously I can't. Um, so let's set all these supplies aside because we're not testing the water color paper out, sorry, a little bit of a brain hiccup there. We are going to start here and okay, so it goes this way, I guess, no, hmm. Alrighty then. So the silver and the gold are here, but there's actually no way to line that up so that way the paints are the same. So I'm just have to remember that that probably is that color and that's that color. Yikes. Wow. Like they are so mixed up. So the gold and silver are here. And that's this is my only complaint right now is that these colors are not in order that they are in here. I wonder if I can 
pop these pans out because they're just little metal pans. Hmm. It's going to bug me like crazy that these are all mixed up in there and not in any sort of real order. Or maybe they are. I don't know. They kind of are. So if we turn it this way, what we get is white, then champagne, then pale orange, I think, then apricot, then new gambage, yellow deep. So I'm certain you'd be able to identify the colors, and that's a real big reason why I'm doing all of this. So let's, um, wow. This bright paintbrush is hard. There we go. I was going to say, that's, that's tough. So let's see if I can get this correctly here. I mean, what are you going to say about white? I assume this is champagne. It's a nice fleshy color. These are used. Okay, a couple of these are used. I can see where the people have painted in them. That's upsetting. But it was sealed like how could it be sealed in the news? I don't know. Explain. So one, two, three, one, two, three. This is apricot. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Very fleshy colors. New gambage. Which, yes, is a vibrant yellow. Can we $15 for this? And they're already like looking nice. They aren't as, um, they're as pigmented as I would like, but they aren't as, as chalky as I expected. So if that's permanent deep yellow, that can't be natural yellow. Orange, permanent orange. This is yellow? It looks so brown. Ugh. Okay, if you say so. What, my love? Mommy's right here. Did you, you needed a you needed the seats too? I promise the seats coming soon. One moment, please. She's gonna cry the whole time if I don't get her her own chair. It's okay, it's okay, you're safe. You're safe. There you go. Okay, two babies, two chairs. Two babies, two chairs. Oh, they're so nice. Look at how nice that is. He's so nice. Yeah. Good baby. Oh, what a good baby. Yeah. There you go. Mommy has to paint now, okay? Hey, the babies, my babies are right there, see? Sorry. Calla goes, they're so fussy. So permanent orange should be this third one. I'm not liking that yellow color. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, ew. Lemon yellow. Oops. Yellow green. Are you sure? I mean, the brush isn't bad. Holds water and pigment fairly well and releases it fairly well. 
lime green. Olive Garden. <coughs> Sorry, I cracked me up. Grass Green. Uh, permanent Green. Viridian, apparently. Oh, that's beautiful color green. That's right. I like Viridian. Thalo Green Blue. Is it just me or are those the same color? Okay, it's a little bluer, I think. Maybe it needs to dry first. Hooker's Dark Green. Cobalt tea. One of my favorite colors. Deep turquoise. Marine blue. It's gotta be this one. Cornflower blue. Oh. The other thing I didn't do with these paints is I didn't have to activate them. I just follow the directions with Shed just to wet your brush, and they are just melting onto the brush very easily. Sky blue. Manganese Blue Nova. I always have trouble with that word. Cobalt Blue. I suppose. Ultramarine Blue. Gotta be the Prussian blue then. Indigo. I absolutely love indigo. I think the whole world does. And Haynes Gray. So that's a bluish color, well, I guess. After Payne's Gray is Carmine Rose. And I can't hear the music because it's playing on the computer and the computer's muted to me, so I hope the music's going for y'all. Peach. It's a very pink color. The pinker colors are kind of chalky. Just want to point that out. Rose red. Quadricidone. Quinacridone. Eyes, man. My 40 year old eyes. Lavender purple. I'm gonna love this palette. I, I don't know why I never picked it up before. Lilac. Probably because there's so many colors and I'm like freaked out about all the colors. Bright purple. Oh, 
I'm having trouble getting that one out of the brush. Uh, deep purple. And di dioxazine purple. Ooh, that's a bluish color. And you're not seeing the whole card. I'm really sorry about that. And organic vermilion. Scarlet. Someone wants to message me. So the fourth one would then be the Carmine. And one the fifth one would be dark brown. And then fired gold ochre, ochre. Somebody tell me how to pronounce these. That's a pretty color. Indian red would be then two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six be this one. <gasps> Oops. It's like the color of blood. Dried blood it is. It is. It is definitely dried blood. Burn brown. That would make this one raw umber. It should be raw umber. There you go. Ooh. So silver, gold, coal black, ivory black. There we go. Yeah. Coal black. Hope this is blacker. Gold. That's beautiful. Doesn't want to pick up very well, but I probably have to let that one sit then. Oh boy. These are more of interference colors than actual true gold and silver because I know what a gold and silver looks like. Well, that's it for today, guys. Uh, it's just a beautiful swatching of the Myling palette. Um, 
go ahead and check us out on Watercolor Beginners Beyond. I'm not part of the admin team there, I'm just a student, but I like to help support them. Mm. I made my coffee too strong. And so go ahead and check out the links in the description below to find these products and to get to the group and the website to um, find support because it's a really beautiful group. There's like 60,000 members and everybody is just beautiful over there. They're always helping each other. They're always so sweet. So I recommend you check them out and check out these paints. They're, um, I would say they're above student grade, but definitely not professional grade. They're still a tiny bit chalky compared to like the professional brands like Stanley and Daniel Smith, which I also have tried in these videos. So go ahead and check them out. Check these paints out and have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.